This is an ABC 10 News update. Hello, I'm Melissa Masiha with this ABC 10 News update. A house in Claremont Mesa destroyed by fire early Sunday morning. It was reported on Mount Ackerley and Mount Alvarez around 2.30 Sunday morning. Fire officials say the flames fully engulfed a home there. The fire broke a gas line, but crews from SDG&E were able to fix it so firefighters could continue putting the fire out. Nearby brush also caught fire, but it didn't spread too far. Neighbors were told to be prepared to evacuate, but luckily they didn't have to leave their homes. Nobody was at the home when the fire, where the fire happened and no injuries were reported. The Navy says it is pausing flight operations following two military crashes last week. It applies to all non-deployed flight units and it happens on Monday. This comes after the Osprey crash in Imperial County that killed five Marines on Wednesday and another crash near Yuma on Thursday with four people on board. Only one person was injured in that crash. That person is expected to recover. The Navy says deployed units will conduct the safety pause at the earliest possible chance. They say in order to maintain readiness, safety remains a top priority. In the wake of Buffalo, Uvalde and other mass shootings, hundreds of San Diegans joined a nationwide chorus calling for an end to gun violence. This was at Waterfront Park Saturday afternoon. Many people there called for stricter gun regulations. And as we take a look at our weather conditions, we do have a few changes in store over the next few days. Along the coast, we're going to be in the low 70s and then a little bit warmer as we head into Thursday and Friday. In our inland valleys, tomorrow will be the coolest day of the week into the upper 70s. And then we'll be about 10 degrees hotter as we hit the end of the week. The mountains, we are dealing with gusty winds there both today into tomorrow. 80s for today, low 70s by Monday. That excessive heat continues in our deserts with the warning expiring Sunday night. For the latest news, weather and traffic, you can go to 10news.com or you can download our free ABC 10 News app in your app store. For ABC 10 News, I'm Melissa Messiah.